Smilo. Smilo on Popular Tour. Uh, this is one of the biggest specimens out there, and uh, there is doubt. I don't have doubt, but there is out there doubt that this thing was a killer. A stone cold, absolutely the most potent cat that ever lived. And that these teeth were used for one thing and one thing only, and that it's killing. Um, and I'm going to prove it to you right now, right here. And you will see that we have set up, we have in this setup, the perfect tool for finding that out. So, prey for Smilodon was horses of the genus Hypidium, uh, tapirs, which are also parasodactyls, uh, think rhino horse, tapir, uh, and uh, toxinol. Yes, we're gonna do it. And uh, Smilodon was known to use massive bulk to take down its prey, and then that was followed by a pin, and then, you know, here it is, there's no contact on the bone and the posterior part of the jaw, you position yourself like that, get a very good close, and you'll notice that this is just absolutely a perfect fit. Now you would in real life, this would have probably been the opposite, right? The horse would have been on the back. And then the cat would have been on top of it. You can see that there is quite a lot of clearance, quite a lot of area for that mouth to open, encompass the, the neck, and then to create this sort of motion. Now, these blades were attached to a cat that was 500 kilos tops. So, let's say 300 kilograms of a cat, 340, like a, Siber like a thing that's bulkier and thicker than a Siberian tiger, with the ability and the anatomy specifically to do this, right? That's all these mastery processes. And all of that immense power was concentrated on these very bladed, these, these blades, which were lightly serrated. And so, I hope that settles any doubts of the power and the capability and the ability 